What day is it? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tones Over Thinks It, the show where I think too much to make up for the people who don't think at all. And I'm back, everybody. As many of you are aware, I had to take a little bit of a break last week due to some thing that's been going around lately that YouTube particularly doesn't like when you mention. And despite for once having all the free time in the world thanks to self-isolation, making content can be a little difficult when your voice isn't working properly and you're in varying states of delirium, as these failures of my usual vocal warm-ups from last week will now demonstrate. Red leather, yellow leather. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pep. Ah, f*** it. No, I am your father. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. Goods. Glory. Ram. Yeah, things kind of got weird, but I'm happy to report that I'm feeling much, much better now, and the prolonged period of self-isolation filled with profound loneliness and boredom has had absolutely no negative effects on my mental health whatsoever. Now, as nice as it is that I get to enjoy a break, unfortunately, the stupid never does. So let's get back to pointing and laughing at some good old-fashioned idiocy. Break time's over, people. Ow! Hey, we just got some questions regarding some discrepancies in the law. Most. Do you guys have masks to wear while you're in the <laughs> No, that's actually why we're here. Are you wanting to talk to the sheriff? Absolutely. Or? Yeah. Okay, let me see if he's in the office. I haven't seen him today, but he might be wandering around. I can give you um, his email address. He's pretty good about emailing people back. Is that uh, Mark Garten? Yeah. And this is about like the mask candy? Yeah. And, Civil and, rights. And the, memo, and the memo that Mark Garten put out in, res in res regards to it. Just interesting that he says he's not going to enforce it, but the first thing you did was ask us if we had masks. Well, yeah, it's two completely different people with their own brains. We're not all mindless machines that just regurgitate what everybody else says and does, unless we're a fraud or a sovereign citizen, in which case you read from the same script over and over and over, and have actually never had an original thought once in your life. The next day. So, is uh, Mark Garten in? Well, we need to talk to somebody today because we're reporting a crime. Okay, let me have you fill out a sheet then. I need to put it into their dispatching uh, system. Just have them dispatch an officer here to take a criminal report. Okay, what's the report regarding? Felony coercion. Right. That's not my editing, by the way. That's how they edited it. I guess they expect the audience to read the documents the same way they did, in a frantic and ridiculous manner that prevents you from actually absorbing and comprehending the content. Hello? Hello? Did you guys want to speak with somebody? Yes. Okay, my name is Sergeant Cottle. What's up, Sergeant Cottle? How are you guys so, today? Kind of disappointed in our sheriffs and sheriffs yeah, and projects. Just so you know, I'm going to record our conversation. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah, that's good. All right, we want to talk to a couple of different county sheriffs, and okay. we've been asking them what is the discrepancy in reading the law, because the law says one thing very clearly, and then we have 36 different sheriffs all interpreting the law in some other manner than it's written for some reason. Translation, you're just unhappy that no one agrees with your particular interpretation and insist on wasting your time and everyone else's to complain about it. How, how would you possibly enforce the law if you have 36 different opinions of how it's read? Well, I, I, think, uh, I think there can be some, some varying interpretations of laws. However, there's still elements of each law or the criminal statute mm -hmm. that have to be met. If that makes sense to you? Yeah, so what if every provision of a criminal statute was met, did it enforce an arrest? It depends. Well, uh, your first duty is to uh, I, I agree, reasons. but we also have discretion, too. Well, that's uh, not true if your first duty is to arrest and commit all persons. That's when the criminal process governed by statute takes over. Okay, but in, in a lot of statutes, it doesn't say shall arrest. 
in your statute, 206-010. Right. You know what, let's take a look at that statute, shall we? And yes, while it does say that the first part is to arrest and commit to prison all persons who break the peace or attempt to break it and all persons guilty of public offenses, you may notice that nowhere in this statute does it say that the sheriff's duty involves arbitrarily deciding what is considered a public offense. That responsibility falls on lawmakers, not law enforcement. So therefore, if the law as it's written does not categorize something as a public offense, the sheriff is under no obligation to arrest anyone for doing it. You would think that frauditors are especially familiar with this given how they broadly proclaim everything they do to not be public offenses. When most of the time they are. That is okay. general duties of a sheriff. And the very first duty is a shall. Right. It's not a choice. There's no discretion there. It's right here. Actually, I have it right here. Uh, Arresting awesome. all Thank you. persons for breaches of the peace public offense. Yeah, we're talking about... The, the, mass, the, the mandate portion of the policy. Right. I could care less if it's master vaccine okay. or anything like that. It's the mandate portion that is abrogating our rights. Welcome to the room of infinite bullshit! It's the part where it says sheriffs have many responsibilities within the community. All aspects of my job are important, but upholding the Constitution and protecting people's rights is my number one priority. That's the part we hear about. Our, our rights are not being protected, and they will actually be taken away if we try to go into a courthouse to defend our rights from being taken away. Or perhaps if you actually tried to argue this in court, you would get laughed out because your arguments are absolute nonsense. Which is probably why you, other frauditors and sovereign citizens, tend to make their arguments out there on the streets because you know in the actual legal arena, the one that our constitutional rights guarantees us the right to have, will not rule in your particular favor. How does one claim that they're upholding the constitution and protecting our rights when the very same deputies from the very same department will write you a criminal trespass or arrest you against your rights, which is under the color of law. That's coercion, extortion of rights. They, and there's a whole bunch of federal laws. That are, you, are you speaking to any one specific incident or is this something? Well, it's, so this has been going on for a year and a half and we the people are getting really tired of it. Speaking as one of we the people, one that still hasn't found the lung they coughed up last week, I'm not tired of it. What I am tired of is people like this who insist on prolonging the situation that we're in where people continue to be at risk and their own efforts at precaution are undermined because stupid, selfish, arrogant, self-righteous pricks don't want to follow the rules even if it comes at the cost of the disruption and even untimely tragic ending of people's lives. Okay. And so we're all wondering why there's been a failure or refusal, either one, of duties for this entire last year and a half when you guys are the only ones standing in our way from affecting private person's arrest or affecting our private person's authority. Because if we go try to arrest the people responsible for this, they're gonna call you guys and you guys are gonna show up and shoot us. Well, yeah, because if you attempt to perform a private person's or citizen's arrest on someone who has actually not broken any actual laws, that would be considered kidnapping and assault. And I'm sure you two are quite familiar with the concept of getting arrested for assault. A violent confrontation over mask wearing going viral on social media. It all began when a man and woman walked into a Eugene, Oregon bakery, not wearing masks, but with a camera already recording. They were allegedly looking for an altercation over masking rules, and they found one when this bakery owner refused to serve them without a mask. Hey! Just put your hands on Yeah, don't touch her. After the bakery owner was shoved, she grabbed a baseball bat, and then it took off from there. The violence lasted several minutes, and then the maskless couple left the bakery. A few blocks away, they spotted police officers and approached them, claiming they had been attacked. When they showed police their video, something happened they never expected. Furthering your unlawful racketeering activity, but, you know, you guys could just keep doing what you want. So here's where we're at. Uh, Ricky, you're also under arrest, okay? So I don't want. She, I don't want this she to said fall. it was discretionary. Okay, I don't want you. I don't want this to be broken. I, what am I under arrest for? Assault. Police quickly arresting Scott Collin and Amy Hall for assault, and their video is now the subject of a police investigation. Yeah, I can't imagine why no one wants to support your private person's arrests or private person's authority. Responsible for what? Forcing the everybody into involuntary servitude. That's exactly what it is. It's involuntary servitude. Uh, subsection one. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. There's three different provisions that matches perfectly. It's not your conduct, it's, it's your lack of conduct, which actually is your conduct. Okay. And because other people are doing it to us, you're allowing felons to continue acting 
feloniously while you guys look the other way and we'll actually act in the same manner if we go try to defend ourselves from those felons. Oh, you mean like this supposed felon that to this day you still claim were justified in brutalizing? You guys have walked in here. I have not once asked you about masks. No. Is that correct? No, not in here. Okay. But if I'm... we go try to get into a courtroom, will the judge tell us? I have no idea. So the, That's so what we're does hearing. the judge have the right the, or the authority, I should say, to decide who has rights in their courtroom before they've ever gone through due process? Um, that is the judge's authority. It's, it's his not, courtroom. It's actually not his authority. Um, so so you would have to speak with the courts about that. Uh, actually, that's why I'm speaking to you because it's actually your duty to arrest even judges for public uh, malfeasance or official okay. misconduct. I can, I can tell you this. We've never had one instance of a judge calling us to remove some oh, okay. power. If the rule that Chief Justice Walters cited for her um, authority to place the mask mandate on the court system is ORS 1.002, and that law says in it, within all applicable provisions of law. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure public health and safety concerns are applicable, especially since the 10th Amendment does grant the state the authority to impose whatever measures are necessary to ensure public health and safety. And since you've clearly demonstrated an unwillingness to respect the rights of a private business, then I think it's safe to assume you have no intention of respecting any actual state and federal law if it doesn't suit your narrative. Because you guys are supposed to be protecting us, and when you guys don't protect us, all you're doing is stealing our taxpayer dollars I know I say this a lot, so please indulge me on this. <clears throat> you don't live there. You're unemployed. You don't pay taxes. Shut the f up. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't know of any agency that has been arresting people for not wearing a mask. Okay, well, so I've actually been criminally charged because I was asking employees if they would get in trouble for not wearing a mask. Wait a minute. What did that say? It says you were arrested for criminal trespass while in possession of a firearm. Why are frauditors so insistent on thinking that laws exist against things that are not actually arrestable? Nobody has ever been arrested solely for the crime of not wearing a mask. Nobody's ever been arrested solely for the crime of filming in public. And no one has ever been arrested solely for the crime of acting like a jackass. There are countries in this world that will send you to prison for selling chewing gum. And you want to claim this country as the pinnacle of tyranny? Where was that at? What county? I'm in Washington County. Washington. And the store director told the police that it has nothing to do with the mask, so she lied to the police. I have proof of all this. Oh, shit. Um, she said I had a history of violence. I have no documented history of violence. <laughs> and she said that I'm hostile towards cops. I talk to every cop like I'm talking to you right now, except when they're acting unlawfully and trespassing me. So in that video, yeah, I'm a little bit hostile. Which is every single police officer, every single time. But okay. it's understandable because my rights are being violated by criminals. I smell bulls. And so to get out of being criminally liable, you need to act in a justified manner, which would be to arrest the felons responsible for placing this on all of us. And putting you guys in the position you're in, honestly. Well, it's a really <laughs> position for you guys. And I would agree with that completely. And our sheriff has taken a stand uh, that we're not, gonna, a stand. we're not going to enforce the mask mandates. The other half of not enforcing that is arresting um, the criminals who placed it in. And I can tell you, like I said before, that I don't know of any instances around here in our county where that has been a problem. Exactly. As the sheriff has made abundantly clear, they have no intention of arresting anyone just for refusing to wear a mask. Now, refusing to do so may very well end up getting you barred from entering a public or private facility, but that's solely up to you. And if you want to make a stink of it and refuse to leave when asked, well, then the sheriff would have every obligation to cite and arrest you for trespassing. So you mean you saying that you're not going to enforce the mask mandate policy, but not going to go arrest the criminals is committing a crime in my presence? Well, that's just how you feel about it. Good thing the sheriff's job is to enforce laws and not feelings, right? Okay. Well, I actually have to do that in order for it to be a committee of crime, is that correct? Refusing to do your duties is a crime. Well, we can agree to disagree on that. Well, I mean, you can disagree with what this says right here if you'd like, but that's coercion. You know of felons currently. You know the mask mandate policy is unlawful. Which okay, means, again, like I explained to you earlier, we're not enforcing any part of the mask mandate. But the people who created the mask mandate, they created a forgery one public record. A false public record. And I based that on absolutely nothing. That created okay. a fine. Okay. So now it's a racketeering money laundering instrument. Okay. So these are felonies being perpetrated against everybody in the state. So what would you like me to do? 
Go place cuffs on the people that put the order in place. This guy is fucking stupid. <laughs> Well, that's I didn't, not, that's not I, didn't sign, I didn't sign your contract, I didn't sign their contracts, I didn't sign any of your guys' contract. I signed my own contract to go overseas, and I learned exactly who I was working for while I was over there, and now you guys are all just sitting here saying, well, that's not how it works. That's exactly how the law says it works. So if you're enforcing the law, so this, then you need to follow the law. If you're not following the law, then you're failing your duties. This is my suggestion to you. If you want those people arrested, I suggest you contact the Oregon State Police. Oh, I have. Why do I feel like that conversation went the exact same way this one's going? I have, but you guys actually have jurisdiction over the Oregon State Police. You know, you, yeah, know, we don't, can, we you can, don't need to lie. We can agree to disagree on that, too. I read your department policy manuals. I've read every law regarding to your duties. I know your job better than you know your job. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. Oh, is that right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything else you got for me, sir? I can place it a private person's arrest, but I'm pretty sure you're going to resist and get violent if I do so. Well, uh, yeah. you're not gonna put your hands on me, I'll tell you that. Well, under 161.255, I can. Do it. Well, we can argue that all day, too. And that's where the video suspiciously ends. Considering he put that caption there while forgetting to remove the audio that would indicate that he was in nothing but stunned silence when he didn't get his way, Likely all they got out of this was a nice long walk of shame. Now I found these two to be a little difficult to categorize. By all accounts their channel seems to indicate they're frauditors, but a lot of what they say and do seems to lean more towards softset territory, so perhaps they're in transition between the two. One thing that's for sure, regardless of whichever label we give them, they're both idiots. The level of delusion coming from these two is beyond extreme, to the point I would even dare say dangerous, since they seem to have this hardened belief that literally everyone is committing a crime except for them, to the point where they've even gotten physical with people and thought nothing of it. And it's never good when frauditors move into that territory. But then again, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Damn, it's good to be back. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like what you see here and you want me to see me look at even more stupid people in the future, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Till next time.